Hey, what's up, guys? This is my first time in LA, and I'm on Hollywood, or actually, I'm on a street off of Hollywood Boulevard. And I got a crazy story to tell you guys today. I actually walked into a Scientology center, and actually, I walked in there twice because the first time I walked in there, um, I just got onto the strip and I actually parked like a block over um, from them. And I walked in there and I was shocked because I'd never seen a Scientology center before. I thought they just exist on South Park. I didn't really think someone was that crazy enough to believe the shit they believe in. But I walked in there with a, trying to be open-minded about it. And um, they basically gave me all these pamphlets and DVDs and, you know, hey, so how, how, how is your, you know, are you stressed out about something? You have a, you know, you can take a personality test. And I'm like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I'll come back to you guys later. And I walked up and down the strip about a mile or mile and a half or so. And I actually got to take a picture with a Samuel L. Jackson lookalike, which was pretty cool. And then I went back before I was about to drive off. I'm actually, after I'm making this video, I'm about to go back to Anaheim. Uh, to back to the hotel for this engineering conference, but um, so like I went in there the second time, and I was like, so what do you what 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 do you guys you know what do you guys believe in? You can I, can I do an e test or e e check whatever it's called or uh, I mean the personality test? And they said, yeah, those are free. Come in. And I mean all these people were dressed the same. They all talked like robots. And I uh, basically went to the back office. You know, they're like, well, come down this way. I was like, hey, but there's an e there's an e test right there. I'm like, bro, they take me up some elevator and some, some stairs or something like that, and some, you know, some room. You know, I, I mean, I'm not scared because I'm six foot four. You know, I know how to handle, I know how to throw these things for real. But you know, overall, you know, I'm, I wasn't, I wasn't that intimate. I, I, like some people say, oh, well, you know, weren't you scared or something? I'm like, hell no. Nah. And I gave them a false name and everything. I said my name was Bob. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm really from Akron, Ohio, but. You know, and I went in there and I did a little personality test and I said, well, how long is this going to take? And they were like, okay, an hour. And I'm like, well, you guys have like a short brief uh, thing or whatever. It's like, okay, well, you can take the first part. And I'm like, all right. And then she said, it'll take 15, 20 minutes. She gave me a pamp, like a booklet of 200 something questions. And I'm like, I answered about 15 of them. And they were like, so are you stressed out about stuff? Are you, do you, do you feel sad about stuff? And it's just the same you know emotional ass question over and over and over again i was talking to the lady while i was doing it and i was like so what do you guys believe in and she was basically like well we believe in self-improvement of oneself i'm like all right well can you give some examples and she was like blah, blah, blah. and i was like so what do you do you guys really believe in xenu and the world's like 100 trillion years old she's like i never heard of xenu she got a little upset too she probably knew i watched south park before they hate south park but then I was like, all right, so this this thing is definitely taking me too long. I have to, you know, get out of here. They're like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you have any questions, you know, just hold on, hold on. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, homie. You know, I gotta, I, I gotta go. You know, my rental. You know, I had to return at two thirty, and um, you know, I, I actually told them like like one thirty so I can get out of there. But they're like, okay, well, hold on. If you have any questions, you know, we you can talk to this guy. We'll go, or you can talk to our, you know, our boss or whatever. So I basically was like, all right, well, I'll go sit in this. They had me sit down like in the chair in the little back office. And they were like, uh, and the guy he went to his like little cubicle desk. And he was like the most weirdest ass dude I ever seen in my life. And I'm not trying to be mean or nothing, but the dude, he asked me all these weird ass questions about, you know, what, what, why, you know, what, what stresses you out in life? What, what, what do you think you can self improve on? You know? And I'm like, Okay, well, I said college stresses me out. And, and, the, and, and during this whole entire conversation, which lasted about five or six minutes with him, he gave me eye contact. I mean, literally. I mean, literally the whole entire time. This guy didn't blink, or at least I didn't see him blink. He just kept looking at me like he was some sort of psychiatrist or something. And he was like, uh, well, Scientology, we believe in self-improvement of oneself. And I'm like, okay, so give me an example. He's like, all right, well business family I'm like all right so business and he's like well basically if you take our basic $50 course you know it, it, it works for the same way a person in China or a Chinese guy would in China the same way it would work for you here and I'm like all right that's sort of broad or whatever and he's like well all you have to do is to take our course and I mean and I think that was the third time he tried to like give my contact information I'm like all right my name is Bob I'm from Akron Ohio and I'm from Cleveland Ohio but like some people, they get scared of them, like as if they're gonna like, like you know. I mean, I'm not, I wasn't intimidated, but you know, he kept, you know, he kept like, you know, getting a little like frisky or something. And uh, dang, what else? What else happened? And I said, well, basically, college stresses me. I was like, well, we can get rid of 100% of your stress if uh, if if you take our basic course. I'm like, dude, I'm an engineer. And I'm pretty sure 99.99% .99 of the people in engineering are stressed out about their coursework. It's just the way it is, you know. 
you have to study a lot and that's how you get through it but he was like oh no 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 we have a secret solution for you that costs you 50 and then you know we have advanced courses which can cost a little bit more and i was like how much more well maybe a couple of grand or so or maybe a couple hundred bucks and i'm like well hold on now second partner i'm broke college student man you, you're trying to you trying to you know you ain't got no you ain't got no you know uh grocery store coupons that you know i can uh i can maybe you know get, get some uh get some 80 percent off or some shit like that and and I mean, and, and, and he kept saying, well, well, maybe, and, and this is when the conversation ended. He, and he was like, well, maybe if you, maybe, you know, if, 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 if you, if you want to be serious about this you and, and you take this basic course, you won't be broke no more. I mean, he basically said like, oh, this nigga ain't got no money. Oh, get the fuck out of here. You were shit. I, you said you was an engineering and an engineering or whatever. And I, and I remember his, his, his like the way he looked at me after I said I was an atheist, I was an engineering or whatever. And I, and I actually like called him out on his like fucking e-meter thing. And I said that, well, there's no scientific, uh, quantitative, uh, measurement of like, you know, positive and negative thoughts. I mean, you can look at a person's pulse, but he was like, no, 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 this is the Thetan level. I'm like, what the fuck is a Thetan? I'm like, and he's like, well, if you take our course, you know, you'll know. I mean, he's just constantly like trying to sell me shit. I'm like, bruh, God damn, it's like it's like being in DC for real, walking up and down the street, motherfuckers trying to sell you fucking from bean pies to to fucking rain ponchos and shit, bro. But I don't know, man. It, it, like they, I mean, they were nice and shit. But then once I said I was a broke college student, he was like, "Oh, so you ain't got no money?" I mean, this is what he thought. Oh, so this nigga ain't got no money. All right, so you know what? All right, so I, I think thank you for your time. It may it maybe I mean he literally told me literally if. If you took our course, you won't be broke no more. I mean, I was sort of insulting, man. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, you can't just start off rich or whatever. You have to, you know, work hard for it. I mean, I'm not broke or nothing. I just said I was broke because I ain't trying to buy none of their bullshit. But I was trying to see, oh, can I, can I, I go through it for free? He's like, oh, no, 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 it costs money, buddy. I'm like, all right. But yeah, that was my little experience at the Scientology Center. Um, I mean, it was very nice, but they're very fucking weird. Uh, you know, they'd probably see this video and try to. You know, come after me, but you know, I ain't really scared of the motherfuckers, man. You know, the motherfuckers don't intimidate me, man. You know, but that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and have a nice day.